Hi, hello students. Welcome to SPV Education World. Today we're going to see the course on geography. Before geography, watch our playlist so that you'll get all the topics that are required for your competitive exams. In the geography, today we're going to see the topic called rotation of earth. This looks to be the much most simplest topic that you had ever seen. Actually, from the early school stages, from the age of fourth standard, fifth standard only, you would have learned this topic. But still, many students make mistakes. After watching these videos, you will regret what are all the things that you make mistakes. Geography is a subject where you need an imaginary ideology so that you can uh, overcome all the questions that have, you have been answering in whatever the exam you are writing, maybe UPSC or whatever the standard. Here we are teaching to the standard of UPSC and Group 1 standard, my dear friend. As usual, before starting our class, we'll be having a good motivational quote, a positive mind finds opportunities in everything. A negative mind finds fault in everything. The word self means a lot, my dear friend. You can see the people who are negative mindset and the downtrodden. Also, you can see the people, those who are optimistic and most positive. Every time, every downfall, you have an opportunity to show yourself, grow and grow, my dear friend. So find the uh, that opportunity in you and in your negative conditions. Then you'll be seeing more, more opportunities in your life. So every situation which you are going through is to make you hard and overcome that and make you strong my dear friend so just keep a positive mind you'll be getting every opportunity that you are waiting for and also the negative mindset is the worst thing whatever you are whatever the things you have you'll be always thinking that you have nothing so it's waste of time so ignore the negative you're gonna live only short span of life in this 800 fold population of people and brains so just you keep positive and motivating yourself as usual we shall go to the topic a rotation of earth before rotation of earth it's a simple thing one slide but you'll be understanding clearly how the earth rotates earth rotates from along its axis what is its axis See, earth has earth is circular in shape but its north and south pole has two differences geographical north and south pole and one more thing is magnetic because the earth is slightly slant or 23 degrees something so 23 degrees or something or 23 degrees it has been slant so one thing my dear friend but it rotates from west to east so as usual sun earth is rotating from west to east so it appears that sun is rotating so apparent motion of sun what is apparent motion they may ask apparent motion of sun means it is moving from east to west why do we feel that it is because that sun is not rotating but the earth is rotating the rotating provides day and night and one more thing the rotation time it takes 23 hours 56 minutes and 4.091 seconds now let me show you an image you'll be understanding in clear see here friend earth's rotation see here it is rotating from west to east see here it is rotating west to east so automatically sun is here so here you are having torch light if you are putting some torch light the earth is rotating means slowly it will be rotating and you if you are on the earth you will be feeling that um, sun is moving from east to west but in the reality the sun is not moving only apparent motion apparent motion means we view it to be moving but in reality earth is rotating from west to east this is the one type of questions where you get a bit confused and also we must uh, remember apparent rotations let me tell you my my dear friend what is apparent rotation it is the appearance how does it appear if you are in the earth's north pole and observe the earth's rotation it looks to be rotating in counterclockwise if anyone asks in an exam that how does the earth rotates means it rotates in counterclockwise always remember west to east means it is rotating in counterclockwise or anticlockwise so earth's rotation is in anticlockwise in the same way the north pole if you are in a earth's north pole and observe see here my dear friend you are standing here in a north pole and you observe how the earth is rotating you just keep a clock in front of you you will be knowing clearly the earth will be rotating in counterclockwise you can see here a person is standing and he is viewing here if you are having the clock but in in usual if you are seeing in the north pole the earth's rotation looks to, to be in a counterclockwise but if you are standing in a south pole and observing the earth rotation it is perceived that it is rotating in clockwise the statement based question where you make the mistake is see whenever you are listening to class only you'll be getting a bit confused but in exams you'll be getting more confused so simple topic but more confusion so be extra careful if you are standing in north pole and observing the earth how does that looks like it looks like rotating in counterclockwise the same thing you are seeing in a north pole and watching the equator which means the earth rotation it looks to be clockwise 
So in also here from this apparent motion rotating apparent earth's rotation, one more thing also you remember, my dear friend, that is that the same cyclone rotation will also be the same direction as we have seen here. The cyclone rotation in northern hemisphere will be in a counterclockwise, in southern hemisphere will be in clockwise. So when you are remembering also, you just interlink the geography concepts, so it will be much easier for you, for you to remember also. Next we shall see here velocities of rotation one more thing my dear friend the rotation velocity see the here is the earth how the rotation velocity varies it varies based on the radius if you're having a greater radius it will be rotating faster if you're having a smaller radius it will be rotating slower now the rotation value or rotation velocity at poles see if you are comparing here poles there is no radius so obviously it equals to zero so rotation velocity of earth on poles will be zero in the same way the greatest rotation velocity the high speed rotation velocity you can find in equator so remember this my dear friends and also one more thing as usually when you are moving towards the poles the radius will be slowly decreasing so obviously it will be decreasing so at 60 degrees latitude your velocity will be half the value of Earth's equator. Let me show you the image for that also, my dear friend. You can see here a woman is carrying a stone tied to the knot, tied to the thread, and she is rotating. You can observe that. Did you observe her hand? Does the hand rotate much or the stone rotate much faster? The hand will be moving slightly, but whenever you are going to the end, the stone will be moving faster than anything. So if you see this experiment you can clearly know this point you can if you make it as a complete circle then you can see that at poles there is less radius so obviously if you have a less radius it will be less rotation velocity high radius high rotation velocity so if you are comparing with axis of the earth now you take this is earth and its axis according to the axis center has the high radius so rotation will be high speed this is the clarity you will get by these rotations, my dear friend. And now we shall see the day and night effect. We can see that why do we get day and night effect is due to the Earth's rotation. So never get it. Actually, we have a revolution concept also. If I teach both of them together, you'll be getting confused more. So I'm teaching both of them separately. Now, day and night phenomena. The part of the Earth faces the sunlight. It experiences day. Yeah, obviously, my dear friend. Take a ball, you put a torch on it. So the, the, if you observe that ball, one side will be brighter, one side will be darker. So in the same way, the earth facing the sun will be experiencing, experiencing the day and the earth facing the, and doesn't face the sun, experience the night. What is there in this? It is a simple concept. But the thing is that exams, they may ask, what is the circle of illuminations? This is the important point where you may get confused. This concept, you know, a day and night concept, but you don't know the, you may not, Remember the concept, the circle of illumination. The circle of illumination is the part that divides the dark and light, which means a day and night. Let me show you the image so that you'll be getting a clear clarity in that. See here, my dear friend. Here is the sun. The light rays are passing. This is the earth. So the earth facing the sunlight is called as a day. And the, the, and the behind part, which doesn't face the sun, is called a night. Now, what is the circle of illumination? There is a round circle of formations in between them. Here is a day, here is a night. The circle, circle between them, the both a day and night is called as a circle of illumination. So now you know clearly what is the circle of illuminations. And again, we come to the concept, the circulations, which means because of the earth rotations, what are the circulations we face? One of the important thing is atmospheric circulations. Atmospheric circulations means, let me show you my dear friend, atmosphere has a different uh, concepts of air and different layers, everything. But as usual, the earth is rotating. When the earth is rotating, it will influence the atmosphere present over it. So automatically, the atmospheric layers started moving. So always move in the direction of the movement of the earth. So here, if you take the concept, see here, friend. So this is what? Okay, let me explain. Here you can see it is also called as Coriolis force. Let me show you what is Coriolis force. You can see here, my dear friend. Here, equator is rotating so west to east. So obviously, when it is rotating west to east, the whole atmosphere also keeps starting moving in the same direction. So to the right, 
in the northern hemisphere to the right it will be moving it is called as coriolis force in the same way to the south it will be rotating towards the left you can observe you just a uh, watch you are watching to the north pole direction so here this direction is to your right hand now you see it ulta if you are seeing down it will be moving towards your left hand that is the thing there is no much more differences here we'll be seeing much more concept of coriolis effects on whatever the thing we are seeing and also coriolis force increases towards the north pole and it will be less and uh, it will be ro rotating and it will see here the earth rotates faster at equator so and also at equator the coriolis force will be zero so coriolis effect increases when you move on to the poles okay friends this is what we'll be seeing and much more about coriolis effect we'll be seeing in future and again we shall see the circulations of ocean circulations ocean means what it is a huge amount of water so that also keep rotating why earth rotation also influences ocean circulations remember this in some conceptual questions you'll be getting is the earth's rotation influencing the ocean circulation yes it is influencing that question you must be remembering so movement of water in a ocean is called ocean circulations and ocean cycle means how much time it takes for a ocean water to complete a one circulations now remember one thing friend the rotation of earth also influences the circulation of atmosphere and also circulation of ocean water the ocean water takes around 10000 years to complete a one circulation or one cycle this is all what we must remember in rotation of earth let me be refloat at once the earth rotation is west to east so it appears to be sun is moving from east to west and the same way the north pole you can see here there will be a questions in north pole uh, earth, uh, what is the direction of earth's rotation in the north pole apparent uh, direction you look it looks like counterclockwise in the same way from southern pole the earth's rotation looks like clockwise see here rotation velocity and poles is zero this question is most important thing what is the rotation velocity in poles most of the time they don't ask it they ask as a statement so you must be saying is it right or not in the same way greatest rotation velocity looks like at equator and then day and night and also line of circulations and next the uh, earth circulations it is called as a, it is also due to the effect of coriolis effect and also ocean circulations we will be seeing ocean cycle because also one more thing remember this earth rotation influences atmosphere and ocean circulation also this is what we must learn about rotation of earth thank you friends thanks for patience and watching our education channel this is SPV Education World. Together we create a better world. So if you are not yet subscribed, you kindly subscribe, my dear friends. And also this channel I'm running through crowdfunding from my village I'm running. So if you wish and if you like the channels and classes that I'm taking, you can fund through crowdfunding so that we can develop it further and help much more students as much as possible. Because together we create a better world. I only cannot be the change. We together can be the change. This is the channel I'm teaching in Tamil, Telugu, Hindi, English. So watch the playlist, whatever the subjects that are required for you. I am providing ancient India, modern India, medieval India, whatever the courses, everything I'm trying to provide. So this is me, SP Rajan, taking classes for you free. Okay, friends, thank you. Thanks for supporting those who are supporting and subscribed. Keep supporting and keep subscribing. Okay, my dear friend, bye, take care.